enjoy this tool. I used it earlier today. It's called Xanti. Um, it's, it's pretty neat, as you can see. You can see kind of what it already offers by way of uh, showing you what's on the network. As you can see, it shows you the entire network. It's slash 24. Um, it shows you the other devices. See my device right there is the dot 14. Uh, it's probably the PC, and it's probably a couple of other devices. My sons and everybody else's devices are probably on the network. But nonetheless, this is a pretty interesting tool, right? Because you get to, uh, first of all, you get to see the MAC address of each device, which is cool. That's a good thing. So I like that so far. Um, let's see. What else does it have? Oh, you kind of set a new MAC address. That's kind of tricky and interesting. And you can view log requests, HTT requests made. So you can check what type of requests those devices made. Let's see how well that works. If it's actually worth looking at. It seems to take a long time to generate. Uh, I suppose you'd have to, yeah, that takes too long. So it's going to take you a minute to generate those log requests or updates. You can do a SSL strip. That could be totally useful if you wanted to hack somebody uh, as far as a Facebook or anything of that nature, right? Because you're redirecting HTTPS to HTTP, which makes it, uh, makes it a little more accessible. Uh, looks like you can intercept the download. I like that. Can modify HTTP requests. It's actually a pretty, pretty neat hacking tool that could find itself to be somewhat. Of course, you got the Wi-Fi monitor. Oh, look at here. <coughs> you can see more than you would normally see, right? And if I uh, kind of used a modified antenna on my phone, I could probably see even more than this if I made like a USB. To type of antenna, which they do have out there. You could use Arduino to make something like that. Definitely, you know, walk around the neighborhood and see what's there. You can even see, so that's neat, you can see what channels they're on. Uh, and most people don't understand that when it comes to Wi-Fi hacking, that Wi-Fi is, is, is RF. So Wi-Fi has different channels. So channel 1 operates with a center frequency of uh, 2.412 gig gigs, 2.412 gigahertz, and channel 11 operates at 2.462 gigahertz. So those are basically just bands you want to choose from. Um, stuff like that is useful if you want to just start jamming frequencies and all kind of free stuff like that, but that's a whole other story that most people don't really care about. Route upon dot com uh, send us to a site so that's that's something we want to do let's check out the uh mm -hmm. so we're doing some port listening to get a log alright yeah I like some of the tools on Santee not bad at all. Alright, there's another tool called Fing. This doesn't appear to do much. It's not bad, but it doesn't appear to do a whole lot. You see what's on the network. Computer, generic Samsung. Uh, obviously, that's me again. Chaconi device. That's probably one of the kids' new devices. Uh, it's not telling us a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You can do a DNS lookup. But yeah. I ain't really saying much either. You could choose if you wanted to to scan an external IP network. External network, that's not too bad. Let's look at what it gives us about our router. 
gives us a little bit of information what you call land. It also allows us to use it kind of as a protection uh, ordeal too. You could use this if you're a sysadmin. You can decide to block the device if you find a device on your network that shouldn't be there. Let's ping. See how quick our router's moving. See if we get what we pay for. You should know how Spectrum is. Hmm. Oh, wrong. yourself like using a using the first app you could have package generator you could have picked a specific port like a remote port to see if that's open and to send a whole bunch of packets to it to see if you I like these tools for uh, on-the-go penetration testing. Not bad. <laughs> 